here bring you another nerdy video now <clears throat> now luckily it's daytime when i'm recording this um and unlike the last time i used my cam my uh, laptop to record while i was at my dad's uh which was my adventures league discussion video where i talked about what happened at adventures league now today we're as is suggests on the title we're going to be talking about tieflings expanded lore uh courtesy of modern kinds tom of foes so in my original tiefling video we've uh, we already went over the fact that tieflings have have a bad in the world of Faerun. Now imagine that. Now again, this depends on the DM. It goes from DM to DM. Uh, some DMs like to play off, like get, like just ignore the lore, like in terms of tieflings are supposed to be treated like very hostile, like people locking their doors, doing you know religious signs as they walk by them, you know stuff like that. But We've gotten some new lore, like again, um, now the tiefling in the player's handbook is going to be generally associated with Asmodeus, uh, he claimed all tieflings as his children. Now that's not exactly true, it's, you know, it's a good clever tactic if you're trying to get followers and draw them in, like, because think about it this way. Now you have all you have these people who are being you have no community they have no city to, to, to themselves they're being mistreated by the other humans and and here's this uh powerful figure claiming to be your your creator you know, and saying he'll welcome you that's gonna be that's gonna work on some tieflings especially younger tieflings but we have uh, expanded tieflings now. Tieflings has uh, as as has a sub race choose one of the following options, whichever one corresponds with the infernal, uh, to the infernal uh, being connected to the tieflings family. Uh, the traits of are, are the chosen uh, sub race replace the tieflings ability score and infernal legacy traits given in the player's handbook. There is one exception: uh, tieflings connected as Madeus. Those tieflings use the traits in the player handbook. Now. It only refers to the infernal uh, heritage, sorry, infernal legacy. It does not refer to the fire resistance. So all tieflings are fire resistance. There, it seems we didn't know if or but about it, which I t um, I find a little disappointing. Maybe they could have you know added some tieflings, like for example, um, let's see here. Let me get a tiefling right up here. Uh, Levitius, um, he is frozen. Now, I don't know how he's having tieflings uh, related to him, but either way, ignoring that. Maybe it was from the, maybe they are connected from the time before he was frozen. I don't know. But he is frozen in ice. He is associated with ice. The same goes for Mephistopheles. So maybe instead of fire resistance, your DM could give them the nice flavor of having cold resistance instead. Now, again, this is all up to your DM. So, again... Uh, it's up to you. Now we actually have some cool pictures. A tiefling descended from Levitius and a tiefling descended from Zareel. Uh, as you can see right there. Uh, let me get that closer up. There you go. Oh, uh, there's the Zareel one. And then Levit uh, Levitius one is, uh, is the one in blue. Which is understandable because I love the whole icy feel. Like, and the fact that there's even like ice things. And I love the sword and the scabbard on the back. Now there's a reason why he's wearing all that sort of like coldish armor, and we'll get into it. Okay, uh, we're gonna go through these alphabetically. Um, all right, so Asmodeus, nothing changes. If you're a Tiefling descended from uh, Asmodeus in any regard, descended from it could be he could be your parent, he could be um, your great grandfather, or you know you can even go further and further, and further, and further back. You know, it doesn't matter how far you go back. But Asmodeus does not change. Now, Beazabal. Now, the crumbling realm of Maladome is ruled by Beazabal, who excels at corrupting those whose mi minor sins can be transformed into acts of damnation. Tiefling's linked to this archdevil can corrupt others both physically and psychologically. Now, with this, you get an ability score. Uh, now, for the most part, uh, they all get their plus two to charisma. 
that does not change. But the second one, the plus one, does change. And so does some of their spells. Um, with Blazable Tiefling, its intelligence and score increased by one. Uh, Legacy of Maladame. You know, the Tomaturgy Cantrip, so that doesn't change. Uh, when you reach level three, you can cast Ray of Sickness as a second level spell. That's pretty powerful. It's 3d8. Uh, once with this trait, you regain the ability to do so when you finish a long rest. When you reach level five, you can cast Crown of Madness once using uh, this trait. And you regain the ability to do so on a long rest. Now, Charisma is your spell casting focus. I believe that's the same for all of them. Let me just quickly check Charisma. Charisma, 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 and Charisma. So yeah, your Charisma modifier is all, your Charisma is always going to be your ability modifier for all of these spells. So now next we have the Spire. Now the sea, in the great city of this uh, occupies the Hell's second layer. It is a place where secrets are uncovered and shared with the highest spirit. Hmm. Making teamings tied to despair excellent spies and infiltrators. Now with this you get a dex increase of uh, one. And you, your legacy of this. You know the Tomaturgy Cantrip. Uh, when you reach level three you can cast the Sky Self as a... Um, yeah you can cast the Sky Self uh, once using this trait. And you regain the uses at long rest. That's going to be the, that's gonna be the trend for all these folks. I'm just going to skip that part for now on. Um, because again, this is supposed to be just a short video. I'll talk about the new tieflings. Um, and then when you reach level five, you get to attack tots. And once again, charisma is your modifier. Now, for Yarna, she and Bael uh, share a layer in hell, but Bael does not have any tieflings associated with him, which means he does not like that. He just he just doesn't really produce in any way. Maybe he does, but maybe he just doesn't have children. Now, uh, Fiona is the master manipulator. She grants Frank uh, Gansimilis tied to her forceful personalities. Now, she get, she uses a wisdom plus one. Actually, hold on, let me move my controller that way, guys. I'm getting tired of having to turn my head to face the camera. There we go. This is much better, much more comfy. Okay, now. Uh, where's... Oh, wait, that's the name of the lair. Okay, sorry, that's the name of the lair. Uh, Legacy of Felagetios. I'm probably butchering the pronunciation. <sighs> sorry, I can't, I'm down. I, I don't know what's wrong with me uh, lately. I'm just like, really tired all of us. Um, like, I, I don't know. I was sick all day yesterday. Ugh, maybe I'm just tired from it, like, you know, recovering. Uh, anyway, you know, the fr uh, here's the first cantrip change. You know, the friend's cantrip, and then when you reach... Uh, now, again, the cantrip, you get a level one, folks. So don't worry about that. And then at level three, you get the charm person spell as a second level spell once with this tree. And then at level five, you have suggestion. Now, both of them are really good. Like, I... I In my first... Sec, sorry, second Adventures League, we've even had a case where... If you've got... If folks, if you, if you uh, didn't watch it... Uh, we had a person use charm person on a lizard folk that was about to fight us and he started helping us in the fight instead of his allies and you can probably do the same thing with suggestion but i'm just saying like it's really interesting so they're both good spells uh glacia glacia's hell's criminal mastermind grants her tiefling's magic that is useful for committing heists now, she gives you a uh, dex increase of one. You know the minor illusion cantrip. And you get uh, disguise self at level three. And at level five, you get invisibility. So, both really good. Like, to be honest with you, I would prefer Glacia over the spatter for a bit making a spy. Just because, like, the minor illusion, the disguise self. Now, don't get me wrong, the tech tots will allow you to get those secrets from someone without having to talk to them, but. Actually, I don't even think that's how the tech tots uh, works. Uh, I'll have to read it, but I, I feel like it does. I feel like the tech tots allows you to sort of read people's minds. Um, so yeah, we'll find. I'll have to find out at some point. Now, 
Levitius is a very interesting focus, and we're going to get into him right now. He gets a warlock spell, if I if I'm not mistaken, and as well as uh, the only attack cantrip out of all these guys. So we're going to get into him now. Uh, Frozen City is ruled by Levistius, an archdevil known for offering bargains to those who face an ins inescapable doom. Now, you get a constitution increase with him, uh, plus one, which, which sort of explains the knightish type of uh, tiefling we saw in the picture. Now, Legacy of uh, Stygia. You get the Ray of Frost cantrip, and then when you reach level 3, you can cast Armor of Agatus as a second level spell. Now, I don't know much about Armor of Agatus. I believe that is... Um, that's Xantar's guide spell. I don't have my Xantar's guide with me. <sighs> but it's a really good spell. Like, if you get hit, the person also takes uh, damage. So it's really good for melee fire. Plus the plus one con. Also, when you reach level 5, you can cast Darkness, uh, the Darkness spell. So, very good. Now, the great miser Min Mon loves coins above all else. Tiwin is tied to him, excel at gathering and safeguarding wealth. Uh, intelligence is your ability score increase with him. Now, you know the Mage Hand Cantrip, that uh, will. Uh, at level 3, you can then also cast Tensor's Floating Disc. I was a little... Uh, oh, wow, this guy's actually different, folks. That means there might be some of them that are also different. Hold on. Interesting enough, Tensor's Floating Disc recharges on a short or long rest. So that's very interesting. That's very peculiar in on itself. Hold on, folks. I'm about to just get a message there. Uh, yeah, it's a private message or something. Let's see. Oh my god, it's not coming up. Discord is bugging out on me. Oh, come on, Discord, work. Oh, here we go, it's loading now. Anyway, I'll keep moving on while I'm waiting for that to open up. Uh, anyway, um, so yeah. Tensor's Clone Disc recharges on a short and long rest. And then at level 5, you get Arcane Lock. And that recharges on a long rest. So, okay, so some of them do change, folks. So Manana is very good for that. Uh, next, we have my favorite uh, Archdevil because he's, a <coughs> he's an Arcane Researcher. Let me bring up OBS. Uh, Mephistopheles. In the frozen realm of Kenya, Mephistopheles are, offers arcane power to those who entreat with him. Tieflings linked to him master some arcane magic. Now, as you can expect, intelligence is your plus one for this one. Uh, as well as the legacy of Kenya, you get mage hands when you reach, uh, and then when you reach level three, you can cast burning hands as a second level spell. That also recharges on the long rest. And last but not least, at level 5, you get Flame Blade. Um, which I, I don't I'm trying to remember if that was... Is that, that's supposed to be a Druid spell, if I recall correctly. But yeah, you get a, a Flame Blade spell once with this trait, and you're going to do so when, when you finish a long, short or long rest. And Charisma is your spellcasting ability. Next, we have... Lastly, but not least, we have Surreal. Uh, the art, the fallen angel who rules over the first layer of hell, and she is the chief general in terms of fighting, constantly fighting against uh, the demons in the Blood War. Now, again, I do plan to talking about the blue, the Blood War once I get more time. Uh, right now, I'm actually just sort of waiting on some friends to play with, uh, instead of decay with. So. Mm. Well, it's more specifically uh, Stay with the K2. But anyway, so now she, I love her origin, and we'll get, we'll, we'll get to her, because I think they talk about the layers. No, they talk about the layers in a weird order. It starts off with Asmodeus, and then it works differently. But anyway, Tiefling's uh, blood tie to Zareal are stronger and than the typical Tiefling. They receive magical abilities that aid them in battle. 
she gives them a strength increase of plus one. Now, this is what I find a bit odd because the cantrip she gives is Tomaturgy. I would have expected more of a melee spell or at least maybe Blade Ward, you know, something that, something that you would expect someone to use if they're going into melee. But anyway, when you reach level three, you get Searing uh, Smite as a second level spell once per uh, once per long rest. And then at level five, you get the Branding Spy uh, once per long rest. Okay, so it seems like Ma uh, Maimon is the only, uh, the Maimon Tieflings are the only ones that will get something on a short rest. Now, mind you, that's Tenja's floating disc, and that's a bit of a, because uh, it's you can't stand on it. It's not something that allows you to fly. It just allows you to move an object. So I don't know. But yeah, folks, these are all amazing additions to the world of D and D. If you're having, if you and your friends are interested in playing like a dark sort of political campaign you could certainly do one in hell or in even you could even do one associated with a bunch of devils uh children sorry children of the, the arch devils or descended from the arch devils coming together and being like assembled to do something to help shift the tides of war in the blood war like you know again there's some stuff you can do here if you want to have it like a hell themed campaign so yeah definitely there i plan to ask my monday and i'm going to plan to ask the friday group uh if, how do they feel about me switching over to one of these guys you know because i could see playing um let's see from my hex red warlock I, I would like to say Mephistopheles, but in the end, I have to also say maybe also Stygian. Yeah, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I'll have to talk to my um, players like about it. So I like the idea of um, maybe going Levitius, you know, for the plus one con. Again, I'll have to talk to them about it, but uh, that's it. I'll have to wait and see what they think. But yeah, folks. So yeah, that's all the tieflings. But yeah, there's so much potential. You can you have a tiefling now for even like if you're a fan of playing tiefling, but you're also always preferring to have a character. Sorry, going with a race that will mesh well with your class or gimmick. You now have a tiefling that fits that. You want to build a teeth, then you have the sp uh the spider or even uh what's it called Manon and Glacia. Yeah, those three teethlings, they can be very good at stinging stuff. Uh, especially like Manon and Glacia, who can go invisible, and Manon who can literally create a disc and place stuff on it and flow it out somewhere. Then you have if you want to make a warrior type, you have um the Vitius, Zariel, and uh, so I think also maybe um, hold on. I should not have closed it. I should, I should have waited until I was done. Oh, here we go. Um, maybe be uh, able. Yeah, mm, maybe him. Hmm. Uh, okay, maybe just Lavidius and uh, Zeriel. So they're two good things if you're making a more of a melee or sort of tough person build. But then, like, if you're going for like a bard, like uh, Fiaria is a good bard, like you know. And then for the arcane users, you have Manon. Uh, Mephistopheles, um, uh, Beazable, you know, all of them can be good, like for a caster. Uh, there's even, like, there's one that gives you even plus to wisdom. So you could even go with them, which I believe is um, Fiaria. 
the master manipulator, yeah, she gives you a plus one to wisdom. So you can even go with that, you know? And then you have the default Asmodeus, who, if you want to go with all fire, you know, you can certainly do that. But yeah, either way, amazing tieflings. I was actually thinking I'm tempted to switch over to one of these tieflings for Adventurous League, but then I was like, no, there's no point to do that because then I lose out on the really cool spells that I would get from Xander's Guide. Because remember, folks, uh, Adventurous League has that restriction that you can only use the player's handbook plus one extra book to create your character. And that includes for when you're leveling up. So, I was like, crap. So, I decided to go with Xander's Guide because I'm playing a wizard in Adventures League. And with uh, Xander's Guide, I have all that extra selection for spells. You know? But yeah, folks... Morgan Town Flowers is amazing. At some point, I will cover the expanded elves. We have several new types. We have uh, sea elves. Uh, sorry, oh, you can't really see. Yeah, sea elves, Aladrin, who have four, who even have even more of a subtype that they can switch between every long rest. And then we have uh, the Shaidar Kai. Now, there is one new sub race for dwarves. Um, uh, there's the now the Durakar you can play as. There's also uh, let's see here. Ba, 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 ba. I think there's also new uh, a new gnome race, or is that just an expansion to the gnome? I can't remember. There's also the two LC get yank uh, get uh, get the Getzari and the Get Yankee. Both uh, I can imagine to be fun. Here we go, halflings. Um, oh yeah, sorry, the halfling just talked about halflings in general. Yeah, it does. It doesn't talk. It doesn't actually go into any deeper than that. So there's no new halflings. It just goes into deeper about halfling uh, lore. So yeah, that's it. Um, now for the gnomes. Oh yeah, yeah. So there, yeah, there is a new gnome. There's the deep gnome traits. You get an extra language. You get stone camouflage. You get superior dark vision. You get dex increase of uh, plus one. You get an extra language, and you also get a special. Uh, you can also choose to get a special feat when you reach an ASI, called Silverberlian Magic. So yeah, folks. There's a lot. Of new races, I plan to go over the the. Well, I'm not gonna cover the Git Yankees so much yet. I'll probably cover them after I do the play finished off the player's handbook. But I'm only gonna go over the expanded options for existing races, such as like the Sea Elves, sorry the Elves, the Tieflings, and the Dwarf, and also the Gnome. So yeah, I'll be going over them in my next upcoming videos. Um, because again, they're a little bit updated. The elves, I have a lot more interesting stuff to say. With tieflings, we don't really get much more info on them. Um, uh, uh, specifically because again, we we learn about their parents essentially, or their uh fam. We learn about their family basically. Uh, because we learn more about um the devils themselves so we, we're learning more about their family there's also sort of like a cousin to the tiefling uh, a cambonian um i'm probably butchering the pronunciation it's c-a-m-b-e-o-n so i have no idea how to pronounce that I, I, I'm, I'm probably butchering it um cambion yeah it's our c-a-m-b-i-o-n so yeah uh, see, see again cambion Cambion? Cambonian? I, 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 I'm, I'm not too sure, folks. It's, it's really awkward. Uh, C-A-M-B-I-O-N-S. So I'm not sure how you pronounce that. Now there's... They're, um, they're born... It's weird, because like the way... Devils cannot reproduce, apparently. 
they can only reproduce with mortals, which again, which is why we have tieflings. So that leads me to believe that um, the way it seems to work is, and again, I'm, this is me guessing mostly, folks, is you have, how should I put it? A dark devil immortal. You're guaranteed to either a uh, cambion or, sorry, cambion or a tiefling. Now, if you have a cambion, wait, a cambion, you, you get a cambion. But if you get a cambion and a mortal, you get a tiefling. That's the way I see it seems to work out. Because again, I, I tried, after reading this book, I went online and I just did so much research about tieflings and all that. And that seems to be the general consensus. So, yeah, it's really weird. Um, so, yeah, we learn more about the tieflings family history more so than we did about actual tieflings in general. So, tiefling, because, again, tieflings don't have a society. They don't have special deities. They, that's it. They're born a mortal and a devil. That's it. So, yeah. Now, whereas with the elves, we're going to get into really interesting discussions about the elves now. Um, so I'm really looking forward to that. Then later we have uh, the Durgar. I have some thoughts on them because, again, we just did uh, uh, out, of the abyss, sorry, out of the Abyss and we just left the Durgar city. So I can talk about them you know, because I got some more lore about them. Yeah, the deep gnomes. Um, I don't know how much I can say about them. Um, again, I have to read them. I may cover more about halflings, just because we not be able to have. We are going to have them actually. Yeah, well, I'll cover two uh, halflings as well, because this book does give us more lore about them, and we will go over the uh, dwarves because we get more lore and we get more info on them. Uh, it's just that we get one... In terms of mechanics, we get one new sub race. But yeah, folks, this is... Again, this is a short video. I didn't want it to be too long. Um, the team things I'm really excited to play with. And they're, and I would love... I'd love to... I want to play cla different classes. Just because I have a team for it now. So, that's that's really interesting for me, like, personally. So, this is uh, Alpha Ninja uh, signing out. May the force be with you. And remember, we're all for understood.